Okay, this is my Ibanez. Um, I'm not even sure what it is. It's an RG something or other. Um, but it went to um, it went to Sims Custom Shop um, before I bought this guitar. And it, well, yeah, it's had this mirrored top put on here, and it's had the Tree of Life inlay. Um, it's had the the monkey grip put in it. Um, it kind of makes me wonder whoever had this guitar before or whoever had it done, wouldn't it just been easier to buy a gem, you think? Don't know. Well, I'm glad you didn't anyway, because <laughs> it, it, I think it looks incredible. Um, it's probably picking up everything, isn't it? I can, can wave at myself in it. There you go. Yeah, uh, not sure what the pickups are in here. Uh, I think they're Dimarzios. Um, yeah, it's a great guitar. We use it at the moment. We're actually using it on the, the Joe Satriani part of the show. And I suppose we should have a Joe Satriani guitar, really, shouldn't we? But uh, but yeah. Anyway, it's uh, it's my Steve Vai-ish gem. Sounds like a gem, anyway. So that's close enough. And it's cool. You can go like this. This is my Brian May guitar. It's a Burns model, is this one. I've, um, I've had this a few years now. I, I, that was an eBay purchase. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, never even, I never even tried this guitar. I, <laughs> I, had, uh, I had a bit of, uh, bit of bad luck with it though, because I, I purchased it and the guy sent it next day delivery. Uh, I think it went parcel force or something like that, and they lost it. So it took me about a week to, to get this guitar back, but it, it, it eventually arrived. And uh, it's a great guitar. It's had the, um, it's got a different trem on there to, to what it, to what the, I think the Burns trem is. It's got the, um, I don't know what you call it, the Brian May type trem, with the bolt and everything on there. Um, it's got the metal uh, volume and tone knobs as opposed to the plastic ones. Um, I did that. Put the old uh, the sixpence on the headstock. It's uh, it's a really nice playing guitar. Um, it, it, I've played a lot of Brian May guitars. I used to uh, used to own um, a, a couple of other ones, and I never really got on with them and got rid of them. And then I've, I've, I've got this one again, not to even trying it. And yeah, I love it. It's great. Um, probably won't ever get rid of this one either. It just it just feels right, sounds right. Um, yeah, it's great. Brian May Burns. Now I got this guitar when I worked for Line 6. Um, again, sometimes you can play a hundred guitars all the same and you pick another one up and there's just something about it. Um, so I had to have this one. It's, um, it's the James Tyler uh, Variax. It's, it, it's, it's a great guitar. Um, I mean, it sounds fantastic just on the magnetic pickups. Um, you don't even have to use the Variax functions on it to, to you know, it's just a great, great, you know, great feeling, great sounding guitar. I quite like big necks on guitars, and this is this has got quite a quite a chunky neck on it, which I uh, which I really really like. Um, it's yeah, it's it's <laughs> seen better days now. Uh, it gets used quite a lot. Um, a few dings and chips on it, and the uh, the Variax. There's a cover that goes over the uh, where the Variax cable plugs in. That broke off a few years ago. But you know, it's a it's a gigging guitar. I when I do um, Line Six or Yamaha demos, I always use this guitar. Um, and so it, it's you know it's gonna it's gonna get a few uh, few road worn marks on it. But it's a great guitar. Um, anybody who's a bit sceptical about trying a Variax, I would I would say just go try one um, because. Despite the fact they've got all the wizardry and you know all this voodoo technology in there, they are great feeling and great playing guitars regardless of all that. Um, mine certainly is. Love it. In 2015, Gibson got really, really drunk. They were so drunk they came up with this guitar. Um, 
Now, SGs have been around for a long, 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 long time, but like I say, in 2015, they had too much to drink and they did ridiculous things. They decided to put the robotic tuners on there. Uh, is it called the G-Force or the G-System or something like that? Um, well, I actually got this guitar really cheap. I bought it brand new um, and it, it, it had quite a ding on the, on the top horn, but I think people just didn't, didn't want it, they didn't like it. So the first thing I did was swap them out and put Grover machine heads on there. Um, the next thing I'm about to do is take this silly brass nut off and put, uh, put a, a, you know, a proper nut on there. Uh, apart from that, oh yeah, and it's got coil splits as well. Um, yeah, they never get used. But, all that aside, the guitar itself plays fantastic. Um, I wouldn't normally get an SG, I'm not an SG sort of a person. Um, but it, it, it is a good one, is this one. Um, again, I only, I only purchased it for the, uh, for the guitar show. But, you know, I kind of, I kind of got quite fond of it now. Um, it's really light, it's, it, it sounds great on stage. Um, like I say, once I get that nut sorted out, it's, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be really good. But what were you thinking, Gibson? I don't know. They just text me. I'm sorry. I love it. It's great. You should have kept it the way it was. Look, Les Paul waves at you as well. In 2012, Gibson was not drinking because they made this. This is my uh, Les Paul traditional. It's in Desert Burst and it's absolutely amazing. It sounds fantastic and it weighs the same as a family saloon car. Uh, it's, it's great guitar though, it really is. I, I, I didn't even play this before I bought it. I just been looking around for a Les Paul for ages. Got fed up of looking to be honest and I saw this one, it had been reduced in price and I bought it. Um, came to my house a couple of days later and I was kind of regretting doing it actually. I opened the case, picked it up, regret it gone. It's amazing, I love this guitar. In fact, uh, Toby James has got pretty much the same guitar. Uh, he's just got a different colour, everything else is the same the year. But uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a demo on this channel, catch that if you haven't already. and. Uh, You'll see how amazing it sounds. Love this guitar. I need to put it down, it's too heavy though. One of my favourite instrument makers um, ever is Ernie Ball Music Man. I think they make some incredible guitars. They um, they do lots of signature models, Steve Lukather, uh, Valentine, Albert Lee. Uh, this, this is my Albert Lee um, model and I got this, I uh, bought it second hand in uh, Absolute Music, in fact there's a demo on this guitar on my channel as well. Uh, yeah, I, I used this was my main guitar at one point until I got the Brad Paisley. I didn't think guitars could get any lighter, this one weighs six pounds and then I've got the Brad Paisley which weighs 5.4. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is, it's, a, it's a great guitar. It, it, sounds fantastic it's a really really versatile guitar as well um, I've used it on rock gigs I've used it on all sorts of gigs country gigs um, if you want a guitar that's going to kind of do everything you, I usually take this it, it's it's a phenomenal guitar could probably do with a refret I've kind of played it to death um, but reckon I'll get some stainless steel frets put in there within the next 12 months um, yeah love this guitar and it's, got, it's quite unusual as well, because it's in Radiance Red with a matching headstock, and I've never seen another one of these. I'm sure they're probably out there, but I've never seen one. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is very nice. Another music man that I've got here is my five string. Um, it's a uh, it's a Music Man Sub 5, and uh, it's not one of the older ones, it's one of the newer ones. Uh, uh, or should I say, it's not one of the newer ones, it's one of the older ones. Um, it's oh, probably 15 years old now, I would have thought, is this guitar. It's it's great though, It's it, it really is great. It's, um, it's, it's an American bass, an American Music Man bass. Um, apparently they couldn't actually afford to keep making these guitars um, and selling them at the at the lower price, which is which is good because um, you know 
my, my, my gain. I actually bought this guitar from uh, from a, a friend of a friend. Um, it did have the um, the checker plate pit guard on there, but I swapped that out and put this. I think they call it a black pearl or something. Um, put that pit guard on there. It's got a little bit of wear there. It's got quite a bit more on the back of the neck, but it's it's kind of my my go-to bass if I'm doing anything in the studio. Uh, if I'm doing any any sort of bass gig, I always take this guitar. Um, I, I, I think it's fantastic. And again, you know, Music Man basses they're uh, they're quite expensive, and you, you know, probably guard them with cotton wool and things like that. Whereas this one, um, you know, you can take it out, you can gig it, you can dig a hole with it if you want to. I might try that. Here's my banjo, Gleeders. That was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, this, this is a five string banjo. Uh, I've had this a long time. It's, it's an open back banjo. Um, it's got a, uh, a transducer pickup in it, but I didn't like the sound of that. I was getting all sorts of feedback and what have you. So I had a guitar pickup and I just literally screwed it in there and put loads of foam in the back. Um, and it works well, so you can actually have a mixture. You could have, um, I've taped over it, but you could have uh, the, the magnetic or the, or the transducer. Um, as you can tell from the uh, out of tuneness, I don't play it a lot. But it's a nose arc. It's a banjo. This is a very special guitar indeed. This is my Brian Setzer. I think I did this when I demoed it, didn't I? Have I demoed this guitar yet? It's a G6120SSU. I can never remember the model number of it, but it's amazing. Um, it's a gorgeous guitar. I, uh, I was doing a load of rockabilly stuff a few years ago, and uh, it's probably about 10 years ago now actually. And the, on the only thing I could think of getting was this. Uh, it's, it's, it's great, it's great to play, it's got the locking spursles on there, um, it's, got a nice, it's got a nice thin neck actually, um, it, it's great, it's great, it sounds fantastic, it's kind of a, it's a vintage type guitar you know, but it's got all the, uh, the, modern, the, the modern features of it, it's got the, the, the trestle bracing, the bridge is pinned, um, like I say the locking machine heads, it doesn't go out of tune which is quite unusual for one of these. Uh, so yeah, my brain sets a signature Gretsch. I'm a big Gretsch fan. Um, my wife knows I'm a big Gretsch fan because she bought me this for my 40th birthday. Uh, this is uh, my White Falcon Acoustic. Um, sounds great. It's a, it's a big old jumbo guitar. Uh, it's great for recording with. Um, and I actually gigged this for, for a fair few years fair few years, that must be sound even older, doesn't it? For a, for a couple of years, shall I say. Um, but I'm kind of funny, I don't, I don't like taking this one out, if I'm quite honest. There's not a mark on it anywhere. Um, and I, I kind of want to keep it like that. Kind of sentimental as well. But uh, but it, yeah, it, it's very, very nice guitar to play. Very, very nice guitar. It actually reminds me of a Wurlitzer organ. You remember the organs that are all white and they've got the gold on? No? Just me? Okay. This guitar was my first decent acoustic guitar. Um, it's probably close to 18 years old now, I would have thought. It's, it's it's seen better days, it's had a lot of use. I was actually selling this at one point, and then I realised I don't think I want to. Um, so what I'm going to do with this one is, uh, is what they call Nashville tune it. Um, puts the octave strings uh, from a 12 string on the, uh, on the G, D, A and, and bottom E. Um, and it gives it kind of this sort of sound. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm definitely going to do that. So yeah, my, my old Takamine, um, it's a workhorse. Had it quite a while. It's um, definitely seen better days, but workhorse.
Okay, this one is my newest guitar. Uh, Yamaha sent me this one a few weeks ago. Uh, I've done a demo on it on this channel. It, it's amazing. It's the Transacoustic. Is this? It's the LSTA. Is this one? And it's, it's the concert body. Um, they, they do different models like the jumbo body and what have you. But I, I, I wanted this body. It kind of reminds me of a Martin, um, a little bit in body shape. But it's incredible. Um, I love this guitar so much. Uh, you, you know when you find a guitar that you think, uh, I'm going to have this a long time, or you, you don't really connect, and I, I just get the feeling this is going to be with me a long time. Uh, it sounds great acoustically, it sounds great plugged in, feels fantastic. It, 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 you know, I mean, these are, these are sort of like eight, nine hundred pound guitars. They feel double that. They, they do. They, they're, they're awesome. They're amazing guitars. I urge you to go and try one, but not mine. This is mine. Love this guitar. The last guitar uh, in my collection is one that I got gifted. Um, look at this. Oh, this is um, a Casio DG20, and I have to say thank you, Mike. Um, th this is this is amazing. Um, all of the sounds that you hear on the guitar show are, are, are coming from this. Um, the you know all the drum sounds, everything are, are coming from this. Um, it's it's absolutely fantastic. That all those other guitars are just there's just nothing really. Uh, they're just lumps of wood with strings on. This is where it's at. Okay. This is where it's at, the, the DG20. You don't need amplifiers and things like that. No, this one's got a speaker built into it. I tell you, this never goes out of tune. It's amazing. If you want to, just get rid of all this rubbish. Honestly, I should get rid of it. Everybody out there, never mind PRS, get one of these. These are awesome. Thanks, Mike. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I've certainly enjoyed showing you the guitars. I'm guitar mad. I love guitars. Um, yes, I will probably keep adding to the collection purely because of the guitar show, though. That's the only reason I'll add to the collection. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching this. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Give us it a thumbs up. Come and see the story of Guitar Heroes a Theatre near you as well. Come say hello. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves.